Well, hey everybody, this is Steve at Thousand Year Home. So I am today in a house that Lee and I own jointly. So hi. we're, hi, there she is. So I, I don't mean to beat up on this house, but we uh, bought this house at the same time I bought that property. So I've owned the property for about a year before I started building. So I'm two years into a building project, three years ownership. And Leah, you're two years here? Two, well, a year and a half. Year and a half. And I got to tell you, it's been a year and a qu half of very disappointing quality. Now, I don't mean to beat up on this, but Lee and I were talking about, like, when we go out there, it's very primitive. But when I build something, you feel it. like, And it's not going to fall apart. And it's predictable, like my, yeah. my water. Here, uh, the biggest problem is the plumbing system just doesn't work. Brand new house that Leah paid serious money. And, you know, I'm underwriting, too. So we're investing together serious dollars and uh it's a problem and on top of it uh meritage is the company heritage home. that it's they lie to leah they come by and they say oh manufacturer it's every they, like the filter they come to my face to tell me they no. the men lie to her yeah. they lie to her oh you have to replace the filter every four months every up there five months. when the paperwork manufacturer says six and then last the time they got a leak in the attic and they said oh well you've got to you to her She's got to go up there and and clear the drains or whatever. Uh, I, what did they tell I, you? They anyway, they lied. When you replace they the lied. filter, you have to flush the pipes. Well, flush the pipes. The they service, told her to flush the pipes but, on the AC unit. But the service people did the, but did the AC. What they don't know is Leah does it to her own maintenance. I say just hire it done. I'm I'm a hundred miles away. I don't want to mess with it. So professionals are coming and doing it anyway. But the, they didn't do it, so they made it leak. They and did. They well, no, there's there's no such thing as flushing your pipes on an I, AC that's unit. That's what I told them. It's just, it's, okay. But they lie, lie to her so they don't have to honor the warranty. Anyway, long story short, I know that we're going to end up suing them. Also, the uh, AC unit and the water heater, the serial numbers, are two years older than this house built. So we know that they they were they were using this house as a storage yard. It was the first house on the block. The Laos house they finished building and I contacted them during the build and I said hey I did not authorize you to use that house as the place to as the dumping ground uh, for the construction I said I contract I paid you to build a house and so we got on them and supposedly moved it but what they did is they used everything that didn't work in other people's houses they brought to this house and put in and we fought them on it and anyway I'm just gonna have to sue them in small claims court but Talking about, these were not tradesmen doing this. These were just paid workers. Uh, some of them pro probably never touched thing. But the plumbing is so jank in here that Leah has to turn on the sink. Well, let's come the... show them. Let's we'll show, show, you. We'll show you. Yeah. So we'll walk through. We'll talk about pride of ownership. Let's start in the one bathroom. So here's the first voodoo. Show me what you have to do to make the okay, shower so work. I'm going to take a shower. I open this up. Okay, I have to Brand turn, new house, mind you. I have to turn the sink on first. Turn the sink on. Look at this water then, pressure. It's like two one, pounds. I, do it, I have to do it like 13, 14, 15 times back and forth, back and forth. She has to do that because... And then let it run. When this gets uh, hot, see it's not hot yet, but when it gets hot, then I can finally jump in. But I have to let this run, and that is all the water pressure. It's full. And that's all the water pressure. So... This is right, brand new house, the water pressure. And uh, we had a plumber come in and take a look at it and said that they wired the plum or they plumbed it back into itself so it has a, a suction problem. So we understand yes. that. Yes. In addition, the on demand tank tankless water heaters are terrible for a house. Yes. Uh, they would work in an RV or a cabin, someplace where you're flushing them on a regular basis. But this has this been, not you don't know if you're going to get water or not. So it's not energy efficient to have supposed to be an energy right. efficient. Right, energy house. efficient, but Leah has to run a yes. separate faucet in order to pressurize the shower head in order to run. And then if the tankless water heaters have to be replaced every couple of years, how is that more mm -hmm. energy efficient for the world than hot water tanks that lasted 20 years? Yeah. Right, if they got to keep manufacturing it and doing it, so the whole consumer thing has. Uh, I'm going to replace that tankless water heater on brand new house. I'm going to do it on Meritage's dying because they put in a, at least a two year old thing, um, two years older than the house. <laughs> so it's so ridiculous. You no, know, that's the first group voodoo. And I tell you, I don't often come to the cottage here. Leah made it beautiful. It's it's a lovely home with very bad problems. 
I've driven this neighborhood and seen people putting on brand new roofs on the brand new roofs. Roofs that aren't even a, a year old, I've seen them replacing. So let's take a look at some of the other weirdness. So the verdict is out, and it, it's hard to see, but the verdict is out on this AC unit. But clearly you can see where the, uh, and it, they should have had two drain pipes in that pan and when they put it in the attic. They had one and supposedly it got plugged. But what really happened is the uh, motor switch stayed on and it ran the motor for the AC unit and iced the AC unit, turned it into a big block of ice, which then over swelled the pans. So that's, a, you know, that's maybe not the meritage problem, but it is our problem. It's an insurance problem, but for me, it's a quality thing. They should have had two drain pipes into the pan if they're gonna put an AC unit in the attic like that. Not a big fan. I, I prefer an external AC unit, or in my case, I'm gonna do mini splits, uh, but I'll make sure that I have a big, not the little half inch pipes. When you put in an AC unit for the drain plug, if you're gonna do one, put in a big one inch pipe. And uh, that way you can control uh, things like that. That's, a, again, this house is not even two years old. I think it'll be two years in July, which is four months away. So uh, these are ridiculous. Something else I could talk about. Thousand year homes. Lee and I are going to, um, salvage yards and I'm getting Victorian era all brass handles because and I'd have the same problems with these these doors are made of paper right and then the handles are just plastic with this coating on it and nylon they fall apart already they fell apart the day the house we bought <laughs> they they uh, all, all of them are substandard now my doors are sticking and you know I've got work to do I've got works to do out on my thousand year house. I know it, the doors are rough hung. It's very Spartan, but when I'm done with something, I don't have to worry about it like this place. So the last thing we'll do, we'll go take a look at that tankless water heater. Um, just talking about why houses won't last a thousand years. And this is a very uh, upscale little cottage in an upscale brand new, brand new subdivision. Brand new builders, there's zero reason why it should be this bad. Every toilet leaks, every single one. And uh, they all flush poorly. You know, the water pressure is terrible. Uh, this is just a, um, I think when I collect water off the roof, I'll have higher quality water than the water that's delivered in this subdivision. Oh, the water's yellow, look at but, the <laughs> Yellow water. Uh, but uh, anyway, let's, let me go look at that hot, uh, water tank with you. So I'm I'm in the garage now, and this is a tankless unit. So right off from the build, we had to have uh, a first year. It's never worked right. So I had somebody else come in, and I wasn't here. Another company come in, and uh, the relief was plumbed into the main. There was all kinds of extra uh, lines here. They cleaned it up, made this end a little bit better. But they said probably the whole house has that problem. But this thing... It says 130. This is the first time I've ever walked in here and not seen an error alarm. And that's because for me to shower, I just unplugged it 10 minutes ago and plugged it back in and cleared all the error codes out. It's terrible. No, it, it didn't happen again. Leah, it's, it's happening. Oh She's got voodoo that she does, swings chickens over her heads to get hot water oh. to any faucet in this house. I have to do it and again. because these tankless water heaters, they're the devil. They're terrible. And uh, we're not the only one to complain about it. If I went up and down this neighborhood, they would all be complaining about it. Oh, yeah. Unlike other people, though, I fight. I, I sue a brother. So uh, they don't know. I could go up to 20K in Texas for small claims. This house was a new house, not delivered as a new house with used equipment. So I am not putting up with it. And that's not to say like the stain in the attic. Who knows if that AC unit, which I've never got up and took a look at, it also could be old units. So we'll take a look or somebody else's unit. Anyway, uh, the big complaint, uh, brand new house, not even two years old. People don't honor their warranties. If the company had invested, invested in just a little more quality in their craftsmen, their, their workers, and their materials, like if they had put in a real hot water tank, no rework. They would have made more money. We would have been happy. I mean, we don't expect a lot out of this house, right? Uh, it's a nice little house. 
But instead, they take all these shortcuts to save a dollar up front and then uh, alienate. Now, listen, uh, I'm being charitable here because uh, their men have come and flat out told Leah the wildest things like, you know, wiper blade fluid for her car kind of bull crap. But wildest thing, dumping off every mistake in this house on her uh, as if she's torquing on doorknobs and, and as if she's in control of this hot water tank. And, you know, brand new. And uh, the AC unit where she's hires men, their recommended men, to come in and, fix and change out the filter and they told every six months put in a new filter. And then they just make it up when the AC unit goes out. Her, it's her fault for not flipping the filter. And she says, I hired people. I hired your people to come in and do the filters. And then they just make up a lie and walk out. And uh, I'm all done. And uh, I'm not even going to give them a chance. Uh, we, I've, I've got a stack of email that I sent them. Uh, things like, oh, we, uh, if we fill out a survey, we get free ceiling fans with the house. Never fulfilled. I, I'm tired of asking, right? I'm tired of asking. Anyway, for those of you with new houses, uh, look in your state. It's easier to sue the uh, the construction company than it is to get them to honor the warranty work. But you have to in good faith, right? And I'm being in good faith, trying to get them to do this work. They're not going to. So then I can take that before a judge and say, Your Honor, it's going to be this much to make the house be what it should have been that we paid for, and we'll just sue them. So there's your tip. And if you want a thousand year home like me, uh, build it yourself and spend the money on the, a little bit of money. I spend an extra 20% on everything. Uh, but you know, I'm going to get a lot more value.